Last week I told you about NRA commentator Billy Johnson who said that he doesn't want people calling shooters shooters anymore because they may also have used a car in the middle of uh, using a gun to kill people or maybe it was the bullets rather than the gun itself that killed the people. Anyway, he didn't want shooters called shooters. Now, another NRA news commentator named Dom Rasso is equating laws to regulate guns to laws that enforced segregation and outlawed interracial marriage called Jim Crow laws. Here is the video clip and audio of Dom Rasso making this case. So just because someone makes a law that says you can't buy, own, or carry a weapon doesn't make it lawful. Jim Crow laws were also passed and enforced, and those were equally as unconstitutional. Too many Americans don't think of the Second Amendment as a civil rights issue, and that's dangerous, because all of those rights together define freedom. If you're free to speak, but not to worship, you aren't free. If you're free to vote, but not to speak, you aren't free either. And if you're free to do everything but defend yourself with a firearm, you're not going to feel very free when you're holding the phone, waiting on the cops to save you from a home invader. Every human being on earth is born with the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, as well as the freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, and freedom to own and bear arms. These aren't just American rights, and they aren't rights that the government dictates to its citizens. They are human rights that we're all born with, regardless of the Constitution or government. A human right as opposed to what, uh, like a bear right, a cockroach right? I don't even get what it means to say that gun ownership is a human right. I'm a human, so that gives me the right to bring a submachine gun anywhere I want. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But if we take a step back, let me state out loud what his position is. This is my new thing. Sometimes when you hear the comment, you're like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But let's let's say it for what it is. Efforts to pull back American gun culture gone insane are the same as Jim Crow laws, which prevented a black person from marrying a white person. I am sick and tired of the false victimization. Christians are victims because in spite of being the dominant majority in the US and having the only religious holidays for their religion in this country, they're being victimized because they aren't allowed to discriminate against gay people. Any gun safety laws are like Jim Crow laws because uh, uh, I, somehow that's victimizing gun owners. This is getting completely out of hand and too many people buy into this. If you look at our YouTube channel anytime we talk about guns, the gun nuttery is completely out of control. Well, I'm actually going to agree with the point he was trying to make on the Jim, Jim Crow comparison because he said that just because a government passes something and enforces it, it doesn't mean that it's right or lawful. You're, so, you're spot on, you're, Lewis, which is right. he has I'll, done, I'll he, he's I taken the, the grain of truth and made it apply to something it shouldn't. That's it. So, okay, would that apply to spying, to drone strikes on American citizens, to uh, the suspension of habeas corpus and indefinite detention? Yes, I think all of those things are true. Jim, Jim Crow laws, right. But I think we should be able to own guns, David. I think everyone should be able to own a gun. But we can't because there is a gun violence epidemic in this country. And uh, the only way to stop it, it seems, is to have stricter gun control and to make sure that guns don't get into the hands of people who are going to use them to kill other people. Well said. And it was just a typical tactic, which is you say something at the beginning that people will agree with in, in br broadly, right? Just because a law is passed doesn't mean that it is a legal law. That's true. Sometimes laws are determined to be unconstitutional. Therefore, Gun safety laws are like laws banning interracial marriage. That's where it goes completely off the deep end. And oftentimes all people listen to is the very beginning. And then they say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I'll believe the rest of what this guy uh, spoon feeds to me. And uh, unfortunately, that's uh, problematic. Next, we will talk to Crispin Sartwell about the left right political spectrum in this country.